done such a good job in that lead in the first half and then he sort of got you in that third quarter and then I guess you live with a 25 foot jump shot for a seven footer and a buzzer? Well, you know, I think we we um, you're right. We did a really, really good job. I thought of executing uh, most of the things. We had to switch some things up, obviously, when he got it going. Um, and you know, I don't know how many threes he made. Made three of them, and they were all you know. Two of them were really tough, for sure. One of them, I think, was was pretty wide open at the top of the key there. Um, but you know, for the most part, our guys were executing what we were trying to do, and then we had to make the adjustment when he was he was playing really forceful. With the ball, you know, he's either he was either scoring it or going to the free throw line on on his drives, so we had to start taking the ball out of his hands a little bit uh, more, and we had some success with that, but uh, just not quite enough. And we had, we had our chances tonight, that's for sure. We had a, we had a, I thought a bunch of great looks uh, right down the stretch of regulation that probably could have put the game a, a couple possessions ahead and just never got there. I don't, I don't think Pascal scored in the second half. Did they do something to? Take him out of the game, or did you just find other well, matchups? Yeah, he 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 was. Um, they put him bead on him, you know, for for most of the most of the half, and um, and bead was playing him up a little bit more than normal. Um, he didn't he didn't get a lot. Of, I didn't think a lot of great looks. He had a few, um, but I didn't think he get a lot of great looks. But again, you got to adjust to what the coverages are. And I thought I thought both he and Freddie did that, you know. And that's you know they got the ball around to some of the other guys, and those guys. You know, we're we're beneficiaries of that. How do you break this when you're that good, yeah. that close? Yeah, I mean, it's tough. I mean, I think, um, you know, I, I can't. I got to think about this, but that's that's about as tough as loss as I can remember here for for my time. Um, you know, obviously, if we pull that thing out, we got ourselves a series, and instead, you got yourself a really really uh, deep hole to dig out of. Um, but at least again, I'm, I, I thought we brought it and we played with great intensity, um, played really tough, and, and, and we made it. You know, we put ourselves in position to win and just didn't go our way tonight. But it was a tough one, Steve. That's for sure. What do you say to Precious after a game like that? What do I say to him? Yeah, like he, he was incredible. He missed those free throws at yep. the end of the game. Sort of both sides of that equation there. Yeah, I mean. Listen, um, he, he's worked really hard on his shooting and his free throw shooting this year. Um, he's you know, going to continue to work on that. I'm, I'm really proud of the way he played, right? You can't, you know, it's, he, he obviously put his best effort up there to make those. I thought the first one looked pretty good. Didn't, didn't get the bounce, but um, so, I mean, obviously we'll, we'll continue to work with him on that. And he's got, his mechanics have improved and all that stuff. He'll, he'll, he'll improve in that area. Not, not, don't want him to live in that play for sure because he was really, really effective and forceful out there tonight. And, and that's just, you know, you, that's what happens, man. You get out there and you play this game, you're going to get put in situations like that. And you, uh, you're going to li live and die with the results, that's for sure. Moments like that, is that sort of what you've been talking about, about some of the younger players going through this process? and? Kind of learning through the ups and the downs. Yeah, I mean, listen, I mean, I want to. We gotta. We 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 need more games, man. We got it. We got to figure out a way to dig in there Saturday afternoon and and figure out how to get more games because I think you you can see again some obviously um, valuable time out there for Precious, OG, uh, Chris. You know those guys. Those guys need need these moments. About OG sort of rising to the moment in these big playoff games, do you see that again from him tonight? Yeah, I mean he was he was good. He he looked really confident with the ball, right? I think he got him got himself to places. I thought he made good plays. He he made made a few passes out of positions that he took the ball to as well, and and uh, made some tough shots as well. Made some really contested threes, but you know those were the plays at the moment, and he he stepped into them. But no, he was good. Looked looked again like he had a l lot more juice again for more minutes, right? I mean that's a ton of minutes for him tonight. Um, I didn't think he he you know he looked like he was winded and a little bit tired the other night. So I think again he's conditioning's coming along here as you know he's been out for a long time. What about Gary? Like earlier in pregame, you're talking about like his lungs and that he played 45 minutes. He had a pretty good. Yeah, day. no, he he was he certainly was feeling better tonight. I mean, so that was good. I think most of the the illness had, had left him. 
Um, and, you know, it's obviously a huge factor for us, right? I mean, he he made some, you know, a lot of offense. Uh, just about any time we called, called his number, he he um, produced something good. And even if it didn't go in, it, he kind of felt like it was a good shot and it was going to go in. So it was good to see. I mean, obviously helps us, helps us. And we'll get Scotty back for Saturday. And we'll have another another weapon to use.